Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. At the end of the video lesson, you're expected to learn, determine the truth values of propositions, illustrate the different forms of conditional propositions. So let's start. Truth table is a mathematical table used to determine if compound statement is true or false. In a truth table, each statement is typically represented by a letter P, Q, or R, and each statement also has its own corresponding column in the truth table that lists all the possible truth values. Example, let's take the statement, it is a sunny day. So our P is, it is a sunny day. This statement which we can represent with the variable P is either true or false. If it is really a sunny day today, then P is true. If it is not a sunny day today, then P is false. Negation. The negation of a statement called not P is the statement that contradicts P and has the opposite truth value. If our P, it is a sunny day, let us find its negation. That will be not P or it is not a sunny day. Truth table for negation. Below is how both of these possibilities are represented in truth table in which T represents true and F represents false. So, there are two columns for negation. This is for P and this is for not P. So, if your P is true, then not P is false. If your P is false, then not P is true. Conjunction. A conjunction is a compound statement representing the word and. For example, we have the following statements. P it is a sunny day. Q. The street dance will continue. The conjunction P and Q or in symbol is It is a sunny day and the street dance will continue. So let's go to the truth table for conjunction. Here is the truth value showing the possibilities of a conjunction. So there are three columns for conjunction. The first column is for P, the next is for Q, and P and Q. So, in the first row, P can be true and Q can be true also. Always remember in conjunction, it is only true when both components are true. So, in this case, both components are true, therefore P and Q will be true next we have true false since the other one is false that will be false also the first part is false then it is false and since there is no true at all that is false always remember in conjunction both components must be true to make conjunction true okay next disjunction a disjunction is a compound statement representing the word or in order for the disjunction to be true one or both of the original statements has to be true or in other words at least one of the components must be true when P it is a sunny day and Q the street dance will continue the disjunction P or Q or in symbol is it is a sunny day or the street dance will continue truth table for disjunction here's the truth value showing the possibilities of a disjunction so there are three columns again for P for Q P or Q so 
since there is one true for or both of the given components is true then that will be true the next one there's one true so therefore that is true we can see also another true for q that is true there's no true at all so that is false so in this junction at least one of the components is true then the disjunction will be true otherwise if there is no true that will be false next implication an implication is a conditional if then statement that is being divided into two the first part or the if part is the antecedent or called as the hypothesis and the second part or the then part is the consequent or called as the conclusion p angle abc is a right angle q angle abc measures 90 degrees the implication p then q is if angle abc is a right angle then it measures 90 degrees truth table for implication Here's the truth value showing the possibilities of an implication. So this is the first column for P, for Q, P then Q. In implication, all the possibilities will be true except that when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false, P then Q will be false. So again, all of this will be true except that when, when this con uh, hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. Okay? Biconditional. The biconditional of proposition or statement P and Q is denoted by P if and only if Q. Example, P. Angle ABC is a right angle. Q. Angle ABC measures 90 degrees. The biconditional is Angle ABC is a right angle if and only if it measures 90 degrees. Truth table for biconditional. Here's the truth value showing the possibilities of biconditional. So this is the first column for P. The next column is for Q, P, if and only if Q for the third column. So, in biconditional, if both components have the same value, then it is true. Otherwise, it's false. So, in the first case, they have the same value, so that is true. In the second one, they don't have the same value, so it is false. This is not false. Uh, this is false also. In the last case, they have the same value that will become true. So remember in my conditional, if they have the same value, then that will be true. Logical equivalence. The two propositions P and Q are logically equivalent denoted by the symbol. It can also be like this and like this. Logical equivalence can also be expressed in terms of a biconditional statement. Two propositions P and Q are logically equivalent if the propositions P if and only if Q is always true or is a tautology. Logical equivalence. Example. Show that P then Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. We shall call this logical equivalence or the switcheroo law. Okay, so this is the example. We are going to show that P then Q is logical equivalent to not P or Q. So we are going to construct a two-column table for P and Q, then write all the possibilities. Okay, we will add another column for P then Q because of this. So let's add another column and then we are going to follow the implication so remember that in implication 
this will become false if the con if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false so in this case we will write here true and then false for this case and then let's add another column for not p okay let's add another column for that and then for not p we will just look at the values of p so given the value we are going to negate it because of the symbol for negation so from true that will become false and then from false that will become true okay let's add another column for not p or q okay so since it involves um this junction we will follow that and we are we are going to give our focus on not p and q and then we will follow the disjunction in this junction um at least one true then the disjunction will become true or one or both of them are true the disjunction will become true so in this case on the second case as you can see both of the components are false so therefore it is false next for the first the third and the fourth they are all true okay so next as you can see so p then q and the values for not p or q are the same so we can say that p then q is logically equivalent to not p or q different forms of conditional propositions suppose p and q are propositions from the conditional proposition p then q we can derive three other conditional statements what are those converse q then p inverse not p then not q contrapositive not q then not p example consider that the conditional statement below is true so the given is p then q if matilda is in grade 11 then she is a senior high school student state its converse inverse and contrapositive okay this is the given p then q if matilda is in grade 11 then she is a senior high school student let's find its converse or the q then p if matilda is a senior high school student then she is in grade 11 let's find now the inverse or not p then not q if matilda is not in grade 11 then she is not a senior high school student and the contrapositive or not q then not p if matilda is not a senior high school student then she is not in grade 11 example number two so let p then q if 3x plus 5 equals 26 then x equals 7 state its converse inverse and contrapositive so again the given is p then q if 3x plus 5 equals 26 then x equals 7 so it's converse q then p if x is 7 then 3x plus 5 equals 26 it's inverse not p then not q if 3x plus 25 is not equal to 26, then x is not equal to 7. And the contrapositive, not q, then not p. If x is equal, oh, sorry. If x is not equal to 7, then 3x plus 5 is not equal to 26. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy learning about our topic. And before I end up my video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. L. Rendalikan. And I hope you learned something. Goodbye!